Today's video does include adult themes, adult language, and adult content. If that's not for you, you've been warned. Don't at me in the comments. If you like that stuff, stay tuned. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So today's subscriber sponsored request coming in hot from Rose T. Now Rose T is a little bit of a firecracker. She lives on the edge, you know what I mean? She's she's on the phrase. Of society and by that I mean she's just pretty funny she hit me up in the request box being like I just want to prostitute your mind for the day I don't want to hire you to eat anything specific make anything specific you could eat whatever you want however I do need you to delve into that you know exponentially deep mind of yours and just you know tell us some stuff she said maybe perhaps tell us like a story and then tell us maybe something you've learned from that story maybe you can derive a topic from that story and just expand upon that and uh, that's what's going to happen because the other night i had quite the little adventure on a facetime with a subscriber that i've been talking to for two years now and uh, things got a little hilarious in the end which bring me to a point that i've always wanted to talk about but have never talked about yet. So I'm in the line at, at BK. I'm craving some chicken sandwiches, the originals. It's Whopper Wednesday. There's a lot of cars. I picked the wrong day to come. It's also like dinner time, so that's not smart either. But we're in line. I'm gonna get myself this BK meal that I'm craving, poutine, chicken sandwiches, add a couple little things on there and uh, tell you this little tale of mind prostitution and you know things I've learned from implants. Success, the bag is procured, and we're ready to park it and tell you a story about titties. And other things. All right, we're all set and ready for this tale of two titties, but uh, I'll just let you know, we got a hot, hot poutine, ketchup out, and two original chicken sandwiches with tomato and pickle added to them. So I'll give you a little close up of this poutine. We'll get a first bite and we'll get into the tail. So, you deserve a cravey cheese pull bite, right? A little ketchup, a little fries. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Mm. Always too hot to trot. So, Big shout out Rose T. This one's for you. The other night, living in pandemia as we do, uh, I was like, life sucks, life's boring, this sucks. Also, I live in Canada. It gets pitch black, 5 p.m., it's minus 10, there's snow everywhere, and we're in a pandemia, okay? There's nothing to do. So, I'm like, drinks it is. <laughs> So I'm having some drinks and I'm feeling myself and I'm chatty Kathy and I'm like, you know what? I need to chat with somebody right now. That's what I need. That's what will soothe my soul. So I go on Instagram and I see that my American sweetheart is active. Now, what do I mean by that? There is a girl found me through YouTube who lives in America, <laughs> hence the American sweetheart, um, that I've been talking to now for two years on Instagram. We're pretty much the same age. And uh, we've gone to the deepest depths you can possibly go in terms of conversation. Previously, like we've, we've FaceTime before. I, uh, I've talked to like her mom and her sisters when we were live before and stuff. So, you know, I know this person quite well. And, uh, She's a dime plus 99, you know, let's not get it twisted. Very attractive, hot woman. 
and uh, you know we've exchanged a few virtual images we'll call it in the past so we've seen each other in full form so I FaceTime her and I'm just like yo what are you up to and we're just hanging out so we're just hanging out shooting the breeze she's just telling me about her life and stuff that's going on over there and, and we're just going deep as we always do also this looks amazing just by the way so we've been talking for hours at this point. A couple hours. It's like 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm hmm. That was a good plan. Adding tomato and pickles. And we're getting close to getting off. Not like that, but getting off the chat. And uh, she's like laying sideways in her bed. Like I was just laying sideways in my bed too. And she has implants. Big, beautiful, well-executed implants. And because I've seen them numerous times, I was like, just before I go, like, let me get a little, let me get a little love. Let me get a little something, something, a, a proper send off. So she's got like a tank top on and she slips the tank top underneath her bosom, <laughs> right? Under the bust. And I'm just like taking them in, enjoying them. And she's, you know, pushing around, feeling around. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we were supposed to get off in that moment real quick, but then all of a sudden it really went, we, we went into a half an hour implant seminar. I was like, you know, who did them? Who's your doctor? Did they come in from the areola? Did they come in from underneath? And she's like, no, no, no. She came in from my armpit. And uh, I was like, have you ever had any complications? Like, how much did each one cost? <laughs> Who paid for them? Like, what did your parents think? <laughs> did they better your life? And it went from sexual to like professional seminar of her educating me about her implants while having her shirt down, just casually like lifting, showing, touching, pushing. Like when she pushes them, you can see the, the, uh, the implant, like where it like starts to push against the skin. You can see like how it differs and stuff. So, you know, how, how have they affected you emotionally, physically? <laughs> So we go deep on her tits, just philosophizing her implants, really learning and then we got off the conversation, we went to bed. <laughs> Next thing I'm talking to her, I'm like, I'm like, yo, was I dreaming or did we really just have like a tit seminar like did we learn all about your tits and she's like we totally did and it was hilarious and I'm like that's a good story time but also it touches on something that I've always wanted to talk about about sexuality and getting older and why it's amazing to get a bit older when it comes to sex
when you're younger, late teens, early 20s, you have to like pussyfoot around about, you know, sex and sexuality and being like attracted to somebody and like, you know, the body's got to be like so secretive and like, oh, like, um, you know, it's, it's all like more, it's, it, there's games. When you get older and you've done your fair share of things and you've seen, you've got many bodies on your account. You've seen many pairs, you know, you've just been with people. You can be so much more adult in like talking as people who are like intrigued with each other's minds and also bodies. And like, you can just get straight to the point with like, I want to see your naked boobs, like straight up and they're just like oh yeah here sure here they are they're just boobs right and then you can both be sexually attracted to that but also have a professional web webinar about their boobs without literally with her boobs just out and her like showing me all the areas and stuff and just like being Like, super casual about it, right? And I love that shit. Just being two grown adults about it. Not beating around the bush. Before you beat around the bush. I mean, I don't personally... Like bush myself, but... If that's your jam, do you, boo. Grow out that hedge, okay? Your body, your choice. But, it was such a joy and a pleasure to both get pleasure from her breasts, but also gain knowledge and wisdom. In an open, casual conversation exchange. You know what I mean? Hearing about her experience. And that's why I love getting older in relativity to sex. These additives were a masterful choice, if I do say so myself. And I definitely want to have at least probably another half of this. I do want to say other people's privates. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP, right? Should be treasured and like you know regarded as a a prize that does you know activate your taste buds we'll call it and make you feel a type of way towards that person and because that's all good and healthy for sex but at the same time we also have to detach from that and be like it's it we also it's a body we all have bodies dicks boobs butts nipples vaginas everything we all have them it's no secret So, you know, it's all natural, baby. And I think we got to 
find that balance of appreciating and reserving our personal, uh, you know, private space for certain people to enjoy, but at the same, also, you know, just understand that it's, it's basic biolo biological anatomy that we all carry around every day. You know, that's where my head's at at least. It's also why that I'm full. Try the sandwich with tomato and pickle. It comes usually just mayo and lettuce, but it's bomb with a tomato and pickle. I could say that. So that'll do it for that one, rose tea. I hope you enjoyed uh, that version of prostituting my mind. And, uh, you know, thanks for paying to play, you know? Sometimes you just gotta pay to play and then you can use me as your personal circus puppet clown food guy. So, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. <laughs>